Hi everybody, it's Chuck over here at Teachers Discovery. In this quick video, I wanted to show you how you can use Adobe Acrobat Reader and the comment feature in order to type and to draw onto any PDF. So let's get started. Most computers already have Acrobat Reader installed on them. Uh, it sort of comes default. Uh, if yours does not have it, you can get it for free. It's available here at get.adobe.com forward slash reader. And when you come to the site, you'll notice that they have a lot of optional offers and things that they will install along with Acrobat Reader. None of these things are necessary. And unless you really want them, I say it's probably best to just turn them off. So we just click in these little check boxes and they go away. Now we're ready and we just click on download Acrobat Reader and it's going to download the latest version for you. And when it finishes downloading, then you'll install it and you'll be good to go. Okay, so after we have downloaded and installed Acrobat Reader, we can go ahead and open up a PDF. I'm going to open up this one. Now normally all you should need to do is double click on it and it'll open for you. But my computer has a lot of different options for opening up a PDF. Yours might too. Uh, if that is the case, you might need to right click on it and come down here to the button that says open with and it'll give you a lot of different options. You see, I have a lot of different programs that'll read a PDF and I'm simply going to come right here to the one I just installed, which is Adobe Acrobat Reader. And there it is. This is what mine looks like when it opens. Yours might look more like this. Uh, they're the same tools. They're just collapsed. So they're a little bit smaller to give you a little bit more space on your screen. Either way, the button that you're looking for is right here, and it's called Comment. See, it's right there, Comment. By clicking on it, I now have a new set of tools that have opened up for me right along the top here. The specific tool that I'm looking for is this one right here. It looks like a T, and that is my Add Text comment. So I'm going to click on it, and when I do, you'll notice my cursor now looks like, like this with a little A there. I can click now anywhere in this document, and I can add my name. And just like any text program, I can select all, or I can highlight it, and I can come here to change my formatting. So I can change the color if I want to change the color. I can change the font size if I want to make it bigger. I can change what font I'm using if I don't like that font. Uh, there's even some options for spacing if yours is multiple lines. And then I can click again anywhere in the document to add my next piece. So, oops, is my answer. It's probably a little too big, so I'll make this just a standard size. There we go. When I'm done with this tool, you simply come over to the top to one of these two, either the hand or the arrow. I usually select the hand. And then you can click anywhere on the document, and that'll turn that tool off. And now you'll see when I hover over the text that I added, I can click and drag and move it if I don't like where it's at. Same with this one, I can move it around. I can also resize it if I wanted to change the size. And I can right click on it, which gives me a few new options, including delete if I don't want this here anymore. And then I can start again. So the next tool I want to show you is along the top here. And it's this one right here. It looks kind of like a pen or a pencil. This is your drawing tool. So I'm going to click on it. And you'll see I have a couple of new options here. I can change the color of my line. And I can change the thickness of my line. So I can make it thinner, thicker whatever I'd like. And then I simply click and hold. And I can very terribly. I'm not much of an artist. So there we go. <laughs> as long as this is highlighted every time I click and hold and click and hold again, it's still adding it to the same drawing. So it still considers all of this to be a part of the same drawing. It's not until I turn this tool off by clicking on either the hand or the arrow and then clicking away, does it then say, we're done. This is now 
one drawing. And now that I've clicked away from it, I can click the tool again, draw elsewhere on my document. I'll just draw a circle. And you'll see that's added it as an entirely new drawing. Every time I add something, be it text or a drawing, it's keeping track of it here in my log. This is a quick way to find everything that's been added to a PDF document. I can come over here to the side and simply click, and it's going to highlight it for me and show me exactly where it is. As a teacher, if you wanted to provide feedback, you could do it right here in Add a Reply. And then click Post. And now if you send this back to the student, they'll be able to see your comments to everything that they added to this document. If for some reason you are not seeing this log, it may be closed, and that's this button right here. So if yours looks more like this as you're adding text and pictures, you simply click on this little arrow button, and it's going to pop it open for you, and there's all of your comments. When I'm all done, I can come up here to close, and that will turn off the comment feature. Now I'm ready to save. To do that, you're going to come up here to the top to File, and then I'm going to tell it Save As, and then click Save. That's it. I now have a PDF that's been filled out. I can now turn this into the teacher or upload it to Google Classroom, whatever you need. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can call 1-800-583-6454 or send an email to help at teachersdiscovery.com and we'll be happy to give you a hand. Thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you in the next video.